In AutoCAD, the ribbon provides a compact palette with all the tools you need to create and edit your designs. It's a great option for visual users, those that are new to AutoCAD, and even veteran AutoCAD users that want the most relevant tools at their fingertips when they need them. You can dock the ribbon at the top or sides of the drawing area, or you can have it float anywhere on your screen, including a second monitor. And you can control and customize the information displayed in the ribbon to meet your needs. The ribbon includes multiple tabs that are primarily organized by task, such as insert, annotate, or manage, just to name a few. Each tab includes a set of panels that further group the individual tools. For example, the Annotate ribbon tab includes text, dimensions, and table panels, among others. The most common tools are displayed in the main panels, but many of the panels can be expanded to display even more tools, including access to relevant dialog boxes. Control how much of the ribbon is displayed by cycling through the ribbon states. The default state displays the tabs, panels, and tools. You can minimize all the way down to display only the tab names, maximizing the drawing area. Drag panels onto your drawing area for persistent display even if the ribbon is minimized. One of the most powerful uses of the ribbon is for accessing relevant tools within the context you're currently working. For example, if you select a layout, the Layout Ribbon tab with relevant tools is automatically added to the ribbon and set current. If you double-click on an mText object, the Text Editor ribbon tab is added. Those contextual tabs are automatically removed from the ribbon when they're no longer relevant to your current state of operation. You can view all the contextual ribbons in the Customize User Interface dialog box, and you can even modify if and when they are accessed during a particular state of operation. While contextual ribbon tabs temporarily customize the ribbon based on your current operation, you may wish to further customize the ribbon. You can use the Customize User Interface dialog box to add, remove, and modify tabs, panels, and tools to meet your specific needs. For example, you can remove tools you don't use and make the tools you use most often larger and faster to access.